Hi everyone, welcome back to the next diecast. A little while back, I did a video where I showed off my small collection of older, you know, like pre-1950 era model cars, mainly made by the Tootsie Toy and the likes of them. I was actually looking through some of the models that I have stored in the basement, and I came across this box of more of these older models. Um, now, when I was filming that previous video a little while back of the of the Tootsie Toy models and the other, you know, vintage models, you know, from before Matchbox was was around and whatnot, um, I knew that I was missing a couple, and it was actually this um, military Jeep right here, which is a Tootsie Toy that I was thinking about, along with this blue Chevy. I was thinking, like, did I give those to my grandfather or did I donate them somehow? I didn't know. In fact, this one was his that he gave to me. This one I actually got from a flea market when I was a little kid. But I thought, like, yeah, something's weird about that. And then sure enough, a couple of months later, there were a few boxes that I hadn't, like, opened up for quite some time um, in terms of the models that I have stored. And this was one of them. And it turned out that there was a whole bunch of older um, Tootsie Toy and a couple of Dinky models in this box that I forgot that I had. Um, and it feels weird to admit that because I'm usually very on top of, you know, the different models that I have and everything like that. But um, most of these here came from my grandfather. And over the years, you know, we would kind of give stuff to each other, like make trades and stuff like that. So I assume that all or most of these were, you know, back in his collection in one way or another um, because of that. And I didn't realize that I still had them. So <laughs> As embarrassing as that is to admit, I now know that I have all these. <laughs> so I figured I would just show them off in a quick video since I kind of did a separate video on the rest of the collection of the older um, models that I have. And I'm talking mainly, you know, pre-1950s, which is when Matchbox was first launched. So we'll see what I have in this box here. We'll kind of go from left to right. This is an ambulance that it's actually made by Dinky Toys, and you see on the bottom here. It's a Daimler. Not sure if this one's been repainted or not, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm guessing it was repainted at some point. The base is definitely um, original, as are the wheels, which are nice to see. You got the red cross on the sides, a little bit of detailing in the front here, and then you have the molded in doors in the back as well, and some detail with these doors too. Awesome. This one, I believe, is also a dinky. Yes, it is. This is just a panel van. It actually did have some paint left on it, but my grandfather, he actually stripped the rest of it and I think put maybe some kind of a clear coat on it, so it's just an unpainted um, panel van now with the red wheels. It looks very cool. I forget. I think he got this from, like, an antique store or something, I want to say. Um, and whatever paint was on here, there was very little of it left, so he just took off the rest of it. But um, this is a cool van, too. Then we get into the Tootsie Toy stuff. I'm not sure if this double-decker bus is, is a Tootsie Toy or not, or if it's a dinky. I couldn't actually find the name underneath it. You can usually see on some part of these models, like kind of stamped on the bottom. But I don't see anything on here. Um, but this is a double-decker bus. You got the white wall tires on it. This, I think, was repainted at some point. I'm not sure if my grandfather did it or if it was already like that when he got it and then gave it to me. But... You have the green paint on the sides, then you have the brown on top. Cool. And it's a partially hollowed out base, as you can see here, too, with those wheels and the axles. Next, now we have the Tootsie Toy stuff. This is actually a later model from them. This is a Pontiac Star Chief from the late 1950s, painted in red. This is original, and you have the black wheels and tires on the bottom here. By the 1950s, you really kind of saw you know, waning popularity with these Tootsie Toy castings because at that point, you know, Matchbox was out on the market. And then towards the late 1960s, of course, you would have um, Hot Wheels and Johnny Lightning come out as well, among the other, you know, more, I guess, detailed brands of models that were um, coming out. But Tootsie Toy was still around at least until the 1970s. And I actually forgot to show you some of my 1970s um, models from them. So I'll be showing you that in the latter portion of this video, too. But here's the Pontiac Star Chief from the 1950s. Typical of Tootsie Toy, it does have the hollowed out bottom. As you can see, there is no actual base on it. And then you have the name of the company and the car stamped on the bottom here as well. So cool. 
Then we have this military Jeep, which I believe is all original, which is cool to see. You have that hitch back there. It does have the folded down windshield, as you can see, and the Army Star on the hood. Made in the USA, which is where Tootsie Toys were made. But it's nice to see the all her original wheels, too. A lot of these, I'm Tootsie Toy castings. You know, over the years, the wheels were prone to cracking or being just missing entirely, depending on who had the model and where it was stored and whatnot. But I did find this at a flea market when I was a little kid, and I've had it um, since then. So I'm glad to have that one. Then we have a special delivery van, as you can see here with the inscription on the side. This is also made by Tootsie Toy, I think. There's actually no name on the bottom, but it does look like a Tootsie Toy, based off how these wheels look in the hollowed out bottom. This was restored, definitely. You can tell by how fresh the uh, polishing on the roof and everything looks. Not sure if my grandfather did this one as well, but it does look nice with the unpainted look. And the special delivery inscription does look nice on the sides of the rear portion. Awesome. Then we have this tank truck casting. This is a Tootsie toy. Yep, you can see right there. Done in red. I believe this is original. You have some of the paint missing, but most of the paint is intact, which is very cool to see for a model of this age. Excellent. Does have the fully intact tires on there as well. You can actually find restoration parts for Tootsie toys online. There's actually online shops and, act and brick and mortar shops that specialize in both selling old Tootsie Toy models and selling reproduction parts for these models. So if you do wanna get into collecting these, um, I'm lucky enough that most of these, if not all of these were given to me throughout my lifetime. Actually, pretty much all these were given to me. Let me correct my, myself on that. Um, if you wanna get into collecting models like these, it's pretty easy enough to get uh, restoration parts. So that, that's just something that I wanted to add there. Next, we have this blue Chevrolet Coupe from the late 1930s. This was restored. Has the nice shiny light blue paint. I believe this was a factory color that Tootsie Toy did offer for this particular car. I have also seen it in green with the black wheels, which I do have a version of. You have the white rubber tires, silver grill and bumper. Then you got the, the little taillights back here and the molded in license plate frame too. Very cool. These last four here are smaller models, as you can tell. We have this blue coupe right here. Not sure which. Looks like a Mercedes, actually. 1939 Mercedes. This may actually be a later um, Tootsie Toy casting of an earlier car. At one point or another, Tootsie Toy did kind of shrink the size of their cars to more closely line up, I guess we'll say with that of Hot Wheels and Matchbox. This is almost to Matchbox or Hot Wheels size, this particular casting. I do like that blue one here, but um, this was towards the end of the Tootsie Toy line, this model, along with the ones that we're gonna see in here next. We have this green truck casting next. Copyright 1967, so this is definitely a later one. Chicago, USA. This is a shuttle truck. You got the black uh, wheels on there. You have the flat bed with the lines in it. This is kind of a similar size to that Mercedes-Benz right there. Very cool. These last two were recently restored, actually, by my grandfather in the last five years or so. We have a blue Volkswagen Beetle. He picked a very nice um, dark blue for it, too. Um, then you have the painted-on headlights and taillights as well. And last but not least, we have this, I believe it's a Chevrolet or Ford, I'm not really sure, Coupe, 1930s Coupe, I guess we'll say, with a trailer hitch actually molded into the back of it as well. My grandfather actually picked a primer gray paint color for this one. It does suit it quite well, I would say, for sure. Looks good with the black wheels, too. So yeah, there's all of those found... Tootsie Toy and Dinky castings from that box that I happened to find. Um, again, I'm kind of annoyed at myself for not realizing that I had this, you know, stored away. <laughs> but I'm happy that I found it um, nonetheless. And I definitely did, you know, put all these in this box in the last couple of years. I'm just not sure how I thought that these made their way back to my grandfather somehow. But I have them here, <laughs> and I was able to show them to you all. And next we'll take a look at the 1970s 
Tootsie Toy models that I forgot to show off also in that first video that I made of those uh, vintage models that I have. I think I actually didn't show them because they didn't really fit into the theme of, you know, pre-1955 or whatever year that I said in, in that video. So I decided to leave those out, but I did want to show them to, to all of you at some point. So we'll show you those next. All right, before I finish off the video, I figured I would quickly show my collection of 1970s Tootsie Toy models. Since I showed off the collection of the older, you know, 1930s through 1960s Tootsie Toy models, I figured I would show off the collection that I have of models from the 1970s from, from the brand. And again, I didn't show these previously because they didn't really fit into that video that I did of all those, you know, mostly pre-war um, toy models that I have in my collection. But I figured because I'm filming more of these Tootsie Toy models that I would kind of add this on to that video. So these are all from the 1970s and all of these are from my childhood. My dad actually had most of these before I did, except for this one here. My grandparents actually bought me that one um, when I was a, a little kid, separate from all of these. But we'll get right into what I have here. Back here, I have two different um, ladder truck castings from Tootsie Toy. This one, they're actually the same in terms of just the basic metal casting, but different in terms of how the ladders are constructed. For this one here, which is also in kind of worse shape in terms of paint and all that than this one is, um, it does have this ladder that has the lever on it that you can use to adjust the height like so. And you do have the hollowed out sides as well. But other than that, it says Tosi Toy on the bottom, copyright 1970. It does have the plastic wheels and tires on it as well. This fire truck casting is pretty much the same as this one here. It does unfortunately have the chipped out front bumper. That's been that way for as long as I can remember. But this ladder is different in that it does have these solid sides and it's actually more narrow. You can kind of compare them side by side here. And it raises and lowers with, without the use of that lever that you see on this casting here. But both do rotate too, I forgot to add that, like so. So that's very cool to us, see that. But yeah, there's those two uh, ladder trucks there. Then we have some more fire trucks right here. First we have this Ford Bronco Fire Chief. A lot of the paint's gone, unfortunately, but it does still have these stickers on the sides of it, which is cool to see. Then you have that spare tire in the back there as well. There's the base, just says Bronco, Tootsie Toy, copyright 1970 on the bottom as well. Very cool. I used to play with all these as a kid, and they were always fun to play with. Next we have this chemical truck. You have the chemical extinguisher stickers on the sides. They're in pretty poor shape, but at least they're still intact, which is nice to see. And a lot of the paint is actually still present on this casting, which is cool. You have the same plastic wheels and tires like the rest of these. Just have the 1970 copyright date on the base of this one too. Then we have this smaller fire truck right here with the hoses rolled up in the back. This one does have most of its paint still intact. And the plastic's actually in a pretty good shape too. Same wheels and axles. And these wheels were also prone to cracking and breaking off, but all of the wheels on all of these are intact and almost a near mint shape for most of them. In spite of most, a lot of these being, you know, played with outside on several occasions and it's being played with in general. The wheels and axles did really, um, you know, hold up to both play and age, which is very cool to us saying. Then we have just the non-fire truck-related uh, vehicles. First, we have this Volkswagen thing that I got from a flea market when I was a little kid. Yeah, I think I said that most of these are from my dad, and they are, with the exceptions of the Volkswagen thing and this bus, this, like, tour bus or tour van, whatever it's supposed to be called. They were both bought at different uh, flea markets. My grandparents bought me this one, and I got myself um, this one. So here's that Volkswagen thing. It does have those stickers on the side with that bird. The base is kind of coming off from the casting, but it has actually um, held up. You have the engine back here. The windshield is slightly bent, but I can easily fix that. I should do that probably soon. But this is a pretty interesting casting, and the real car is, is uh, unique too. It's kind of like a Jeep made by Volkswagen, basically. There's that spare tire molded in the front there. 
Very, very nice. Next, we have this Resort Shuttus bus. That's actually what it says in the bottom, I believe. I can't read what it says partially. Yeah, S-H-U-T-T-U-S. I don't know why it wouldn't be shuttle bus instead of Shuttus, but oh well. <laughs> it's a resort bus, basically. You have the molded-in seats back here where people actually sit facing one another. And then you have that front bench seat, too, with these stickers on the side. This is actually in the best um, condition out of all of these uh, models here. You have the exposed Hengen, which is an interesting touch. And then the nice brown paint scheme on there, too, with those stickers, like I already mentioned. Very cool. Then we have this Jeep Jeepster in green, the Jumpin' Jeepster. This was actually played with outside for several years of its life, but in, in spite of that, it has actually um, held up decently good, I should say. Um, some of the paint is gone, and the stickers are very well worn, but you can expect that from a vehicle that was played with as much as this one was. This actually is a folded up soft top, but Tootsie Toy did just paint the whole thing green. But the interior is actually in almost perfect shape in spite of it being, you know, stored outside for quite some time. And the wheels are intact. And the axles, there's no rust on them either. So that's very nice to see that. Just missing some paint, but, you know, this is over 50 years old at this point, so that's to be expected. Then we have this Jeep pickup in this interesting light purple. Fair bit of paint is missing, unfortunately, but does kind of add some character to it, I would say. So this did have a full bumper on it at one point, but it was broken off at, at some point. You have the molded in steering wheel and this bed back here. I used to fill this bed up with some sand, with some of that uh, play sand as a kid, and it would, you know, transport it around the sandbox. Copyright 1969, it says on the bottom there, or 68 maybe, can't really read that. Jeep in quotation marks, so it's a Jeep um, pickup. I think these were already like a few years old when my dad got them as a little kid himself, and then he then gave them to me when I was a little kid. So they could have been played with actually by three kids, now that I'm thinking of it. My dad when he was a kid, me when I was a kid, and maybe whoever possibly had these prior to him. Maybe his brother had them before, I'm not totally sure. But they're now retired from play, of course, <laughs> for several years now. These were actually never played outside, to my knowledge. Just these three were, and maybe this one. This one was bought at a flea market. This one um, definitely was not, but I just wanted to add that, too. Last but not least, we have this Chevy Vega in blue. The Sport Ranger, I think it says, with that fish on the side there. It's really impressive how these stickers actually stayed on. They're very faded, but they stayed on, even though this was like played with outside and everything, too. A lot of the paint missing from the roof up here. But a lot of the paint is largely still intact. And the engine and the interior is actually in pretty good shape for its age. There's no side windows on any of these castings, by the way. It's all, like, just um, hollowed out. Even the windshield and the back window, you don't have those at all on any of these, which is interesting. So that really exposed the interior to whatever, you know, elements the rest of the car was in, so something else to add to. I did, of course, you know, thoroughly clean all the, these up in recent years, and, you know, they are, of course, retired from play, but it's cool to see, you know, models in played with condition, because you know that they were very well loved. These were, in fact, very well loved, and I still love them for sure. But yeah, I, I just wanted to make a video where I showed off that box of Tootsie Toy models that, that I did not show in that previous video, where I showed off the other Tootsie Toy models that I had in my collection. And I also wanted to show off these 1970s Tootsie Toy models. So yeah, feel free to comment down below with your thoughts on the video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.